Hello everyone, in today's video, I will be going over how to spoof and send emails using Spam Your Web Sender. First, I will show that my Gmail inbox and spam folders are empty. Okay. Now head to the SMTP manager to add your SMTP. In this video, I will be using a spoof SMTP from our shop. Fill in your SMTP details and ensure SSL is checked if your SMTP uses secure connection. Once all the details are filled, click Add SMTP. Now, head to the Email Sender tab. Fill in all the information for your email. For this video, I will be spoofing as the Coinbase email. Next, add the recipients. Each email should be separated by a new line. You can use macros in your email to send unique content and avoid spam. You also have the option to add any attachment to your email. When you're ready, click send to start sending the emails. Great, now let's check the email. As you can see, the email has been sent to inbox. Let's make sure all our content is correct, including the attachment, macros, and even the email spoof. All the content is correct, landing in the inbox and even spoof from Coinbase. Thanks for watching this tutorial to the end. Please make sure to like the video, subscribe and check out spamir.fr. All right, this tutorial will be how to send emails with Spamir. First things first, open up Spamir and we will need to head to SMTP settings and add our SMTP. If you do not already have an SMTP, you can buy one directly from the spamir.pro website. Now I've filled out my SMTP information. Most SMTPs have SSL enabled, so make sure to check this if yours does. Now make sure we click at SMTP to configure Spamir properly. As you can see from the side, our SMTP has loaded properly and can now be used on Spamir. Now head to the email sender section. Here is where we can add the subject of our email. For example, I'll put test from Spamir. Okay, now I will add the name of the sender, which will be Spamir. This is the email that it will be sent from, so you can spoof the email right here. So I will do admin what Spamir dot pro. Now here's our message. I will be using an HTML message here. Here's the code. Copy it and put it in here. Now, if you do have proxies, you do have the option to load them here. Spamir accepts HTTPS, SOX4, and SOX5 proxy types. I will be using Proxyless for this demonstration. Here you can select the amount of threads you can use with sending. I'm only going to use two threads for this video, since I only have two emails here. I'm going to add these emails to my email list. Save the file, and now I'm going to load the email list. There we go. Now I will click Start, and it will start sending these emails out. 
and I click yes. As you can see, I've successfully sent to the emails. And on the right side of my screen, you can see here that we did receive these emails from admin at spaymere.pro. I'm going to open these real quick. As you can see, all the information we put here, this right here, this email was sent using Spamir. Just a simple HTML message. Spoofed sender. That is how you can send emails with Spamir. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Remember, you can purchase. In this tutorial, I'll be going over the SMS sender on Spamir V2. First things first, head to the SMTP settings section on Spamir to add your SMTP if you have not already. Once you've added an SMTP and initialized it with Spamier, head to the SMS Sender tab. Now I'm going to add my sender name. I will simply use Spamier. Now, sender mail will be admin at spamier.pro. Now I'll add the message. This is a test message from Spamier. You may use proxies on Spamir if you please. We support HTTPS, SOX4, and SOX5. Here you can select your threads. I will just be using one for this example. Before you start sending, make sure you head to the Utility tab. Load your numbers. Then select your carrier. My carrier is T-Mobile, so I'll set it to T-Mobile and click Format Carrier. This is very essential. Spamier can't send to SMS without this being done. Now head back to the SMS Sender tab. Make sure you click Load Numbers and load the numbers file you just saved. Now everything's ready to start sending. Click the Start button and yes, we want to start sending. Keep in mind that sometimes it may take up to a couple hours for the message to deliver. Here's a screenshot of the message from my phone. That is how you can send SMS messages with Spamier. I hope this tutorial was helpful. All right, this tutorial will be how to send emails with Spamier. First things first, open up Spamier and we will need to head to SMTP settings and add our SMTP. If you do not already have an SMTP, you can buy one directly from the Spamir.pro website. Now I've filled out my SMTP information. Most SMTPs have SSL enabled, so make sure to check this if yours does. Now make sure we click Add SMTP to configure Spamier properly. As you can see from the side, our SMTP has loaded properly and can now be used on Spamier. Now head to the Email Sender section. Here is where we can add the subject of our email. For example, I'll put Test from Spamier. Okay, now I will add the name of the sender, which will be Spamier. This is the email that it will be sent from, so you can spoof the email right here. So I will do admin Pro. Now here's our message. I will be using an HTML message here. Here's the code. Copy it. and put it in here. Now, if you do have proxies, you do have the option to load them here. Spamier accepts HTTPS, SOX4, and SOX5 proxy types. I will be using Proxyless for this demonstration. Here you can select the amount of threads you can use with sending. I'm only going to use two threads for this video, 
since I only have two emails here. I'm going to add these emails to my email list. Save the file, and now I'm going to load the email list. There we go. Now I will click Start, and it will start sending these emails out, and I click Yes. As you can see, if successfully sent to the emails, and on the right side of my screen, you can see here that we did receive these emails from admin at spaymere.pro. I'm going to open these real quick. As you can see, all the information we put here, this right here, this email was sent using Spamir, just a simple HTML message. Spoofed sender. That is how you can send emails with Spamir. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Remember, you can purchase